We're gonna be the way today. We'll be showing you a standard knot, which we call the uni knot. And it's pretty simple. It looks like that. This is what you tie to your hooks and swivels. So we'll get your swivel. You go right through, and we can go around. Depends on the poundage of your line. Uh, the smaller the line, the more you know loops you're gonna do. The bigger your line the less you're gonna do. So this is 50 pound test. So you might wanna go around six times. You know, if you're running 12 pound test, you can go, you know, eight to 10 times. But this is 50. So, you know, you wanna give it like six or so, five, six. Depends on the type of line too. And then you're just gonna pull. You wanna make sure that you be careful when you're doing it with the hook, just because if you're pulling the hook with your right hand, you're putting the swivel with your left hand, you may pop that hook right into your hand. So it might be good to use a pliers when you're holding the hook. Or sometimes what I do is I, I put this and I hook it into one of the pole guides and I use that to pull and make it nice and tight. But basically that's the uni knot. You wanna trim off your excess. And whenever you trim this excess off, you want to throw that into the rubbish. Don't drop it on the ground. In Hawaii, we have something called malamaka aina. That means take care of the land. So don't throw this away. Pick up your rubbish. This is the uni knot, or uni knot, excuse me. You say uni if you live in Hawaii, because that's actually a sea urchin in Japanese. But uh, uni knot, you can use it to tie just about everything. Um, mahalo for watching. Anapa. So once again, we're going to go in to the swivel, go six times, and we'll just go right around. Once you've got your uh, six twist, you're going to get your end and go right into that hoop. Hold it with your left hand, and you're just going to pull. And there you go.